recognize one of the ordinances of the church, which is water baptism. And we understand that there's no power in this water. But that is a demonstration of the power of the blood of Christ that has already taken place in the heart of the believer. So in demonstration, we are buried with Christ in baptism. And we will be raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Amen. Ain't God all right? Yeah. So we serve the Lord. The Bible says that angels yeah. of heaven all rejoicing yeah. because another sheep has been added yeah. to the family of God. Yeah. As they make their way. Yeah. Just like your sister. Praise God. In obedience to the great head of the church, and by the profession of faith, by this my dear sister, I baptize her in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
before you today, God, knowing, trusting, and believing that thou art God. And we are your children. And as children, we come before our Father with our petition. We thank you firstly, oh God, for last night's lying down. Resting these bodies. You, you woke us to see a brand new day that we had never seen before. God, you enabled us that when we woke up, we could get up. That's right. And when we got up, we found that we had the activity of all of our limbs. God, you readied us to get ourselves ready to come to the house of worship. And that's what we came here to do, God. I don't know about anybody else, but I came to say thank you. I came to say you're worthy. I came to say you are God and beside you there is none other. I came to say you are God and I am nothing, but I come before you asking you to help me, to bless me, to fill me with your love and your spirit, oh God. Many people have walked through these doors today with different issues on their heart, God. And in your infinite wisdom, you will see to each one by one. Fill us, oh God, with what you see, that we stand in need of. Thank you for these candidates who have gone down, buried in the water, but raised to walk in the newness of life. Bless them now, oh God, because the devil is really going to be on the track now. They thought the devil was after them before this. Oh Lord, bear them up on evil's wings, oh God. Give them strength to walk. Give them strength to fight the devil, to fight their very flesh. Give her a sister to come alongside of her, oh God. Put her arm around her and say, baby, you can make it. Give some of these brothers an arm, oh God, to come around this man and walk with him in this walk, oh God. Show him what a Christian man looks like. How he's to act, how he's to walk, how he's to talk. Bless this house, oh God. You know what we stand in need of. I don't have to tell you we need some money. I don't have to tell you we need a new building. Because you know that. But God, what I'm going to ask you to do is get us ready for when you decide to bless us with anything. Sometimes we got to get us right. We gotta get us right before we can come to you and ask you for something. But then, God, we have no right to ask you for something better if we not first thank you for what we got. We thank you, oh God. Bless our pastor. Thank you for for seven years of preaching. Of laboring in the gospel. The number seven is completion. It's completion. He has completed. But as he has completed, God, I'm looking forward to next year because it's the new beginning. And in the new beginning, give us new grace. Give us new mercy. Give us new joy. Thank you for him. Thank you for his wife, his sons, his home, oh God. Bless them. With all that they said in the need of, oh God. Bless them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, God. These boys are going off to college. Matt's going away for the first time, God. He's away from mama. He's away from daddy. Ain't too many church people in Richmond. The devil's going to be on that boy. But I'm trusting you. 
to be down in that boat. Walk with God. Way over in the night, God walk with him. Speak to him. Go before us in the service, oh God. Go before us in the service. Speak to us. There is a word that your people need. And your mouthpiece is going to come out and deliver that word, oh God. I pray that you preach him far beyond his preparation. Take him out of himself. And as you empty him of himself, I pray that you fill him with you. And that the gospel of Jesus Christ will go forth in a mighty way. And it will fall upon fertile ground. Open our ears, oh God. Thank you for Jesus, our wonderful Savior, our rock, our elder brother. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for that precious blood. That was shed on Calvary for us, oh God, for us, for us. It wasn't shed for everybody, but it was shed for a people. God in sundry times sought to elect unto himself a people. Oh, oh, oh. 